A local college is offering Great Falls area folks the chance to become CDL certified in order to drive trucks for a living. KFEB first reported that Great Falls College NSU would hold its second truck driving course starting in late fall of last year. In November, they decided to hold the course in the school's back parking lot because they had not found a large enough area of land outside of the school for students to practice on. ABC Fox Montana's Melinda Zosh decided to sit in on a lesson. She joins us live now in the studio. Melinda, tell us the basics first. How did the college get a commercial semi truck for students to train in? Well, Ben and Kitty, the college actually partnered up with a group called Bear Tracks Trucking Training. Now, the owner actually drove his commercial semi truck two hours each way every day from Browning to Great Falls. Then every day for the past four weeks, two students have been learning all about truck driving, first in the classroom and then behind the wheel. You always want to be in full control of your tractor trailer. Bear Galano of Browning seems to love his job. What I really enjoy is when uh, I see one of my students driving by in a semi truck. Galano just added two new students to his roster at Great Falls College MSU. The first day we went out driving I, I got to go down the hill that was icy. So I got that experience right out the gate. It's a big day for truck driving student Patrick Rankin. I'm expecting to get my class A CDL. But that's no small feat. It looks intimidating, the big old vehicle of the weight and the gears and the, the big kid on the playground, if you would. Uh, <laughs> it's challenging. So I'm going to walk you through some of the steps that students have been learning in the course. Step number one is to make sure that your seatbelt is, of course, fastened and buckled up. Now step number two after fastening the safety belt of course is to check out the various gauges inside the vehicle here. Now besides checking the gauges inside the truck it's also important to check the mirrors and make sure that visibility is clear all the way around the truck before taking off. Convex mirrors uh, is, 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 is a challenge when you first start backing up with them. Now that visibility is clear, there's another challenge and it's set up here in the college's back parking lot. Now Rankin's reversal skills are being put to the test. Straight line backing is your, your cone set at 12 feet wide, 100 feet deep. Then there's a 90 degree maneuver and left and right parallel parking. It's no easy task with a semi this size. Sometimes you might have to improvise a lot of uh, things because you're going to be solo. But today, Galano steps in as the backseat driver. Your five senses are on, on high alert, um, always uh, yielding to your pedestrian. Now Rankin leaves the small parking lot behind in his rear view mirrors. Then I join them as we set off on some back roads just outside Great Falls. Rankin keeps a close eye on his speed. So we would bring that speed down to further down to 15 miles per hour, which would dramatically keep us away from a jack knife. Then another challenge presents itself. Yeah, you could take him third, just let off your throttle and just walk it around. This truck has nine different gears. You don't shift the same as you would an actual manual vehicle. And this vehicle. I would go over a little bit more to the right is a lot bigger than anything Rankin has ever driven before. But that's when Galano steps in, guiding him down every turn. Hug that snowbank as close as we can to avoid that fire hydrant. The drive back to school seemed to be a little trickier with heavy traffic and stopped cars. I'd be a little intimidated to drive behind him. <laughs> It'd be a hard act to follow. <laughs> Rankin remains calm, giving all the credit to the men in the back seat. Bear and Pearson are, are real good instructors. They like to repeat things and it, and it helps me and that's a good way for me to learn. And for Galano, his month-long truck driving course could make all the difference for Rankin as he prepares to take his CDL test. <laughs> and that's the done deal. I'm, I'm really pleased with our driver. Now, Great Falls College MSU will be holding another course coming up next month. However, now that students are back from winter break, there is a slight challenge. The college's back parking lot is full and it will be tricky to maneuver a big semi truck in that area. The school is still in need of an area the size of two acres that students could practice driving on. Now, if you have any ideas for a space that could be used 
or if you're interested in signing up for the course yourself, we'll have those details up on kfbb.com. Reporting live in the studio, Melinda Zosh, ABC Fox.